Hi, hello, and 안녕하세요. My name is Lee, and welcome to my channel. Today, I will be reviewing and discussing Antique, a South Korean film with LGBT elements. Antique is a comedy drama following Kim jin Hyuk, a son of a rich family who decides to open his own patisserie. Dubbing his new venture Antique Bakery, he recruits openly gay master chef Son Woo, former boxing champion Gi Bom, and clumsy family friend Su Yong. Together, they push to make the business a success and deal with the individual challenges and issues that brought them to Antique in the first place. Officially released in 2008, Antique was the third feature film for director Min Gu Dong, a regular on this channel for his films Memento Mori, Five Senses of Eros, and In My End is My Beginning. The film screened at around a dozen festivals and was even invited to premiere at the 59th Berlin International Film Festival. It was released to theaters for the domestic audience starting November 13th that same year. Antique went on to gross $6,015,560, according to the business zone of the Korean Film Council, and racked up 1,181,424 admissions, securing its place as the 16th highest grossing domestic release of 2008. The handful of critics' reviews I could find from the time were mostly positive, praising the film's poppy visuals, snappy editing, and the charming, solid performances of its ensemble cast. However, the reviewers also understood that the wacky stylistic choices and reliance on stereotypes could be alienating to an audience. Available viewer responses, which were mostly reacting to antique years removed from its release, aligned with the critics. Mostly positive to middling reviews, with the lower ratings referencing the use of stereotypes, in the film's dated, corny, and cheesy aesthetic and tone. Altogether, I would give Antique a C+. Here's really what you need to know, the key to this film's cipher. Antique is a live-action adaptation of a Japanese manga. Once you know that, the aesthetic, tone, and humor all fall into place. The original series was written, illustrated, and released by author Fumi Yoshinaga in the late 1990s. The manga was then adapted into a live-action Japanese television drama in 2001, where it was completely de-gayed, then an audio drama in 2003, and then an anime in 2008, which was re-gayed but toned down. But as far as where Antique falls in the landscape of gay content in Japan, it's a matter of debate. The manga has a female author and likely a primarily female audience, which numerous reviewers of the Korean film even mention. So is it BL, or part of the boys' love genre? Yoshinaga herself insists it's not, rather, it just has gay characters and doesn't even go to a great extent to explicitly show sexuality or sexual content. Personally, I can see the reasoning on both sides, and I don't think it's a coincidence that the most recent incarnation is a Thai adaptation in 2021, titled Baker Boys, which has a cast of BL veterans. It is very BL reminiscent, but falls just out of that category with a primarily heterosexual cast of characters. Visually and tonally, Antique reveals its origins as a manga adaptation. There's quirk and zaniness, drastic tonal shifts, and plenty of fantastical sequences, from night terrors to musical numbers. If your earliest exposure to Korean media was the days of first shop of the coffee prints back in the mid-2000s, this will tap into a certain nostalgia. As the first comedy I've reviewed for this channel, Antique is competently made and acted with some funny moments. It's also an enjoyable early work for both the effortlessly watchable Kim Ji Wook as well as a young Yoo Ah In. The principal actors, Kim Yoon and Ju Ji Hoon, who you may recognize from Kingdom, have gone on to be talented and recognizable actors in both Korean TV and film. However, Jin Hyuk's character, the actual protagonist, is fairly unlikable. He's kind of a creepy pervert towards women, and his backstory is mismatched in severity with his colleagues, as well as needlessly convoluted. Much of the character's origins are told in an awkward expositional format, and it's almost two hours long, and could use some work to refine the pacing. Overall, it's cute, but dated. Lastly, let's turn our focus to Sonmu, the self-identified gay of demonic charm, which, oh my gosh, that needs to be on a shirt, or like a pride banner, Unfortunately, Sun Woo is not the lead of the film, and arguably he's the only antique character without an arc. Furthermore, he could easily fall into some very obvious stereotypes for gay men. Promiscuous, driven by sex, fashion-obsessed, having never seen a scarf he didn't like, materialistic, afraid of women, hitting on all straight men, and prone to abusive relationships. The 
but he's also incredibly talented, highly desirable, very open, and gifted in a creative field. Although the Bohemian is a very well-known queer figure. What elevates Sonwoo, as is the case with many queer characters built on stereotypes, is the sympathetic performance of a good actor. Kim Joo Wook's innate charm and the inclusion of a complex background that does not condemn his sexuality gives the character some depth. The Sunwoo Jin Hook dynamic is somewhat ambiguous as whether the latter is homophobic or exuding internalized homophobia, it's really up for grabs there. As for trigger warnings, Antique does feature homophobic bullying, homophobic slurs, childhood trauma, abusive relationships, and an attempted suicide. And worst of all, and I mean the worst of all, it has extremely dated hairstyle trends from K-dramas of the late 2000s. I just thought you needed to be warned. Antique is available to watch on Tubi for free, on Viki with a subscription, or for a small rental fee on Amazon Prime. So if this sounds like your bag, check it out. Until next time, goodbye, farewell, and 안녕히 계세요.